What is going on? So if you know me, then you know I love to display my VR headsets when they're not in use. Obviously, I love to use them, but when I'm not using them, it makes me happy to walk in the room, see those things displayed nicely on the shelf. Also a good conversation piece when people come into the VR room. One of the very simple ways to do that, and I just got this in, is this Asterion a VR headset display. It's an LED display that works with pretty much any headset. I mean, every headset I have here will go on there, no problem. And it's really bright. Like this room has crazy amount of light on it, and you can still see it light up very well. So it looks even cooler in the dark or in low light. It looks even more spectacular, but it looks really good. There's different colors built in. It's just a simple touch screen on here or a touch pad. Uh, there's pink. There's like a whitish kind of a color. Uh, there's red. There's also a pulse mode where you can put it on there. I think that's this mode here uh, and it'll actually change colors. Maybe that was the first one. Uh, there's yellow, green, and then two different colors of blue. Let me put it back to that. So here's the pulse mode. And this will actually go through uh, the different colors. It'll change colors. Looks pretty cool, but it looks really good. I like this display a lot. And on the back, if you actually read it, it will tell you all the colors. Uh, red, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, white, and alternating color mode. And another cool thing that I found out by reading the back of the box, because obviously I don't read the boxes or instructions very often, but there's actually a USB-A port on the side of this to charge your phone or different de devices, stuff like that. That's really cool. That's a nice feature because we can never have too many USB ports and stuff for charging. So that is awesome. And even better news, we actually have another one of these that we are going to be giving away. So there's going to be a link in the description uh, where you're going to be able to win this brand new uh, headset display here. Like I said, works great with like every headset. Looks really cool. Great way to kind of brighten up your room, get some LED, you know, RGB style lights going on, which, you know, I'm a fan of. So a couple of the ways that I like to display my headsets is actually these foam heads here. And these are just styrofoam heads that uh, I put on a piece of wood with a dowel rod that goes up through. And uh, they're real easy to do. They're not real expensive. Uh, I can show you how to do it. Links to Amazon stuff that you need on that uh, in the description below. So stay tuned to the video if you want to see that. Another thing is these glass heads. And these are actually glass skulls. And I got these around uh, Halloween time at like a local store. And I haven't been able to find them online anywhere. But Amazon used to have some glass heads. And I'll see if I can find those on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But I love the glass skulls. All I did was I put like a cheap LED puck in there. I think the batteries are actually kind of dying. But it kind of lights it up. It looks cool. So if you guys have seen that in the video and you're curious about that, that is basically what that is. But definitely watch around Halloween time if you're interested in these glass skulls. A lot of the Halloween stores, I think I got these at like a Home Goods or something like that. That's where they were at. I was shopping with my wife and I just happened to see those and I was like, oh, I got to have those. I know I could put VR headsets on those. So that's what I did. I got to show you this real quick because I'm super excited about this. This is City 17 from Half-Life Alex. This is a poster that I got in. I've been collecting some posters. I need to hang them up. Super excited about this. I looked everywhere for something like this and I actually found this on Etsy. So if you're interested in this, I can put the link in the description uh, below if you want to pick that up. I'm not sure where I want to put that yet. Maybe you guys can help me. Uh, I was thinking about maybe on that wall, get rid of the arcade thing, put two there. Another idea I had was to get rid of the foam pads and the sound deadenings or maybe just move those around and I could probably fit like like three posters up there. Uh, another idea I had was back here and I have this big uh, map, you know, United States kind of a, a map there. I thought about putting one on each side, but this wall is a little bit more difficult because usually I have the green screen pulled over. So that might be a little bit more difficult, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I need to put some posters up. I have quite a few now that I have frames for, and I just got to figure out where I want to put them. I think maybe behind uh, the monitors back there might be kind of cool. So that might be the route I go. Okay, let's talk about how we make these styrofoam heads real quick. Too far. So this is pretty much everything you need right here to do one of these uh, styrofoam headset displays. And what it is, it's just a cheap styrofoam head. You can buy these at your craft stores. I'll put a link to uh, an Amazon link and then they have a hole in the bottom. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna buy one of these uh, wood discs. You can buy them in uh, round, you can buy them in square. Whatever you wanna do, maybe some scrap wood you have laying around. These are just like hobby store round wood discs. I have this one stained gray. You can paint them, you can stain them, whatever you wanna do. And then all you gotta do is take a dowel rod. And this is a 7 8 dowel rod and this is going to fit in the hole that is inside the head. So you're gonna shove that up in there once you're ready to go. And then you can paint these things any color you want. The ones that I have over there, I've painted white and I've painted black and I think I'm gonna do this one blue. We're gonna try uh, the blue out a little bit, see what that looks like. So essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do first, you're gonna to wanna to paint your head. And you, like I said, you can paint it any color you want. That is totally gonna to look like somebody from the Blue Man Group. I don't know if blue was the best idea, but it's too late now, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, one thing I did forget is I usually use this 
Rust-Oleum. This is foam primer. I'll try to get a link to this in the description below as well. Uh, this is supposed to help keep the styrofoam when you're actually painting. It's supposed to help keep it from, you know, kind of melting or anything from the paint and also helps it stick. Uh, you could probably use, you could probably do it without this. I'm not sure, but I do usually use this. I'll put the link in the description below. Once that fully dries, you take this stuff called Mod Podge and this is uh, like a sealer, essentially a waterproof sealant that you get from a craft store again, or I can put a link in uh, the description to Amazon. So you have to make sure the paint is all the way dry and then you put this on and this really gives it a nice thick coating. I think I do two or three coats of this. You can do different finishes depending if you want it shiny or you want it flat. This one's actually a satin, so it's kind of in the middle. Uh, once you do two or three coats of that and you let it fully dry, it really holds up really well. So the ones that I have over there, especially that black one, I did the most coats on. And I have taken the headset on and off that thing, I don't know, a million times probably. And there's no signs of wear, it holds up really well. So once that is all dry and your Mod Podge is on there, you're gonna take your dowel rod and you're gonna shove it up in there until it's tight. And then you're gonna put a mark on it and you're gonna cut it at that length. And then you take your wood base and you find your center and you drill a hole and you take your dowel rod and then you glue it and stick it on there and you run a hole up through the bottom and you wanna countersink that so it's flat at the bottom. And then all you have to do is you have your base with your pole on there like that. You take this and you put some glue inside there. You can use wood glue, probably Elmer's glue or something like that. And then you just slide it down onto the post there and that centers it, keeps it sturdy. Uh, the base, you know, since the base is kind of heavy and big, it never falls over with the headset or anything on. It's sturdy. Works out really well. So, hey, let me know what you guys think of that uh, idea and if you're going to make some of these uh, styrofoam headset holder display things. All right, so for those of you that watch the Coffee and VR show, uh, you might have caught the last episode where Tyler said if we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, he is going to grow a beard for like a month or two. And I've known the guy my entire life and I have never seen him with facial hair, so we gotta make this happen. So if you could please help us out, hit that subscribe button, that way we can hit this goal. I can see Tyler in facial hair. It would be phenomenal. Also, check out the Teespring store. We have a bunch of uh, new shirts and stuff. This is the VR Gamer shirt with the uh, bearded guy in there. We got a, a couple new ones, a couple new designs. We also have a couple new, a uh, couple more coming pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. And let us know what you think of this video if you like this style thing. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Later. So we're out here in the workshop. It is crazy messy, but I was gonna clean it. I just didn't get time to do that. So meh. And let's get to some painting. Oh man, that is really blue.